barn owl Lulu is the star of the air show. She flies more quietly than any other bird. Over millions of years, these owls have evolved into superior airborne predators. Lulu also has a mind of her own. Sometimes she intentionally misses her prey, just to have a little fun at her trainer's expense. Thomas Bachmann is observing owls to find out why they can fly so quietly. He'll use that information to develop soundless airplane wings. Owls hunt at night, using their keen sight and hearing to find their next meal. They also reduce the movement of their wings in order not to scare their prey away. I think owls are totally fascinating. Their flying style is extremely delicate and their plumage is marvelous. And they're also intelligent, dignified animals. Bachmann is working in cooperation with aerodynamic specialist Stefan Klein to take a closer look at owls' wings. In a wind tunnel, they measure the vortices created by the bird's wings. The smaller the amount of air moved, the quieter the flight. No matter which textbook you consult about owls' wings, they all say owls can fly so quietly because of their plumage. That's been known since 1934, when scientists first described the characteristic. Since then, there's been a great deal of research about why owls can fly so quietly. But they haven't really explained it yet. So Bachmann is searching for what makes owls' wings so special. One possibility would be little hooks on the leading edge of the feathers that cut the air. Or perhaps it's the fringes on the trailing edge that dampen the sound. To find out more, the scientists use a laser to make a detailed image of the wing. The experiment is only just getting off the ground, but they have already solved some riddles of the workings of an owl's wings. This image shows, for example, how the vortices are reduced. And this is a prototype wing they've produced, using their findings as an example. The decisive element of the innovation is a velvety surface designed to mimic the softness of an owl's wing. The researchers modeled the wing on a computer with the help of a mathematical calculation program. It incorporates all the data about owl wings, bone structure, feathers, and shape and uses it to calculate optimal wing dimensions. The scientists found that the velvety surface in particular produced a surprising effect. These images show wings with a smooth surface, while in the other images you can see the treated velvety surface performing at different speeds. What really stands out are vortices forming in blue and they tend to get too big, particularly when airspeed is low and the bird or aircraft is carrying out tricky maneuvers. What we have discovered is that wings with a velvety surface make the vortices smaller and move them forwards, which has the effect of stabilizing the air currents at low speeds. Due to their velvety feathers, owls are not only more quiet when they fly slowly, they're also flying more safely. This first result is encouraging Thomas Bachmann and his team to find out even more about owls' wings. In the future, we would also like to take a look at owls in free flight. We'll use different instruments to record the geometry of their wings during flight and optimize our models even further. And not only planes, but also computers and air conditioners could be made quieter from these insights. Lulu's independent behavior and propensity to fly the coop every now and again is perhaps the only thing about her that her researchers don't want to duplicate. <laughs>